Sean Moon. While Boise State was busy going 12 and 2 with the Mountain West title and a Fiesta Bowl win over Arizona, Washington was uneven in its first season under Chris Peterson. But that was last year. Here's the deal with the 2015 Washington Huskies. They have the pieces in place, but now the offense has to be far more consistent and far better despite an iffy quarterback situation. Fortunately, the O is loaded at the other skill spots. Dwayne Washington and LeVon Coleman, they're forming a good one-two rushing punch that should thrive behind, behind a potentially excellent O-line. The D, though, will take as massive a hit as any in America losing Danny Shelton off the nose, Loie Kakaha off the edge, and all four starters up front. The secondary, however, should be a strength with all the starters back. The pressure isn't on Chris Peterson quite yet, but it's coming if UW doesn't make more noise and be more Boise State like this year. Now, the key is the defense. Even with a devastating pass rush that came up with 52 sacks, the Huskies were still 120th in the nation in pass defense. That's not too much to get into a twist over in a division with Oregon, Cal, and Washington State, but giving up over 4,000 passing yards was too much, especially after allowing 3,000 in 2013. Now, considering the dogs went 0-12 in 2008, five straight winning seasons is okay. Now, the fan base, it wants a lot more. Going to Boise State, USC, Stanford, and Arizona State, it'll make it tough, and Oregon is coming to Seattle. But with this coaching staff and with an improved offense, a nine-win season is possible and expected, but it's going to be a disappointment with six wins. I'm Pete Futak. To dive deeper into the 2015 Huskies, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.